So some of the reasons I knew that I had to marry Alex Williver, I knew I needed to marry someone artistic. I came from, mus from a musical family too, and so I had this love for art that I was really surprised as we started dating how much Alex loved art too. When we started dating, I found her a little bit hard to talk to because I'm, I'm kind of an intellectual person. I, in dating, used art as something that I could say like, I can, I can get her talking about art history. That's the one thing I knew I can get a conversation going and so it's a good strategy. I remember thinking to myself, He's always talking about art history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Does he want to talk about anything else? <laughs> so for me, I had known Berkeley several years, as we mentioned, and um, you know, always thought she was beautiful, and you know, had liked her, but you know, didn't really have a romantic involvement necessarily. But it was always in the back of my mind, and I had a dream that I was talking to her. I went up and said, "Hey, so what's going on?" And she was like, "I'm engaged," and I dreamed that she was marrying somebody else, and I was aware when I woke up the next morning, that that was not okay. And that was the moment when it flipped for me and I said, okay, I've gotta, I'm gonna reel her in. She was hard to catch though. She was, she tells in retrospect that she was, oh, all butterflies and all this stuff, but she played it totally cool. We started dating the summer, right after I graduated college and through FASA, had all the hiking dates and the Starbucks dates and then had the one dinner date. Well, after that, I had to go home to Raleigh, where I was, and we did Skype dates. Where basically, we would talk on Skype every day, and we'd see each other about once a month. But about into the second month, Alex was already talking to me about possibly getting married, which I was really surprised. I had never been, I had dated a few guys before, but had never been to this point so quick. And um, She was surprised, yet on our first date, said she was gonna marry me, yeah. unbeknownst to me. So our wedding, I'll never forget, first of all, it rained uh, before the wedding. The rain turned to snow. This is late October. And out of the middle of this wind and the snow, I wrote music for Berkeley to walk in with. Not in that moment. Well, with not the at rain. the moment. I had written music. <laughs> Beforehand. I had, <laughs> I had written music for Berkeley to walk into. It was this real kind of sparkly, you know, subtle music because Berkeley is a very subtle person and very artistic. And um, I didn't think that the traditional wedding marches really fit her very well. So, so that chord started and the doors of the church opened up and all you could see was her silhouette and the wind was blowing her hair and the snow was like swirling around her. And um, it was one of the most magical moments of my whole life when she walked down that aisle. The Art of the Love Song holds a special place for us as a project because we fell in love over songs. Um, there are songs that I love to sing to Berkeley or songs she would sing to me. And so it's wonderful to be able to do so many famous, beloved songs that hold those special places for millions of people. So click the link below and please go support the Kickstarter for the Art of the Love Song. Hopefully get tickets to the show at the Grand Ole Opry on July 23rd. And we look forward to seeing you on PBS. Thank you.